Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got an episode of Sniper Sunday, the series where we're going to be playing the recon class, trying out different weapons and tactics to make the recon class effective. And finally, I've gotten around to DMRs, specifically the Ace 53. I've avoided using DMRs with the recon class because they've just been severely underpowered until the latest patch. They all got a big damage upgrade that's going to help them out a lot. Now, on both ends of the damage spectrum, DMRs have had their maximum damage increase and their minimum damage increase. No longer are you going to need to shoot somebody four times with a semi-automatic DMR to take them down at long range. Now it's a three shot kill minimum with any single DMR. If you can work a headshot in there, you can reduce that to a two shot kill. They've also across the board had the bullet spread basically decreased, not necessarily their base accuracy, but as you prolonged your rate of fire with a DMR, they would become less accurate. You wouldn't have enough time to recover the accuracy of the shots. So now you can um, basically chain shots together and hit somebody two times in a row very easily firing the weapon pretty much as fast as the gun will let you fire uh, and it will maintain its accuracy. So before you had a little bit too much bullet deviation so you could land a headshot and then your secondary shot would miss. No longer is the case. So these weapons are precise. They do decent damage now and they can be a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the updated Ace 53 stats from SimThick.com. You'll notice it has a 45 damage maximum and a 38 damage minimum. This drop off goes all the way out to 80 meters, so it's got pretty good range. The bullet velocity is a nice solid 560 meters per second. The 260 round per minute rate of fire. Some of the other DMRs upgrade their rate of fire. The M39 EMR can shoot at 300. The SKS can shoot at 333. They all have different trade offs here and there. The Ace 53 benefits from a massive magazine of 25 rounds. This means you can engage a lot of opponents before you even need to worry about reload. With a semi-auto and having 25 rounds, you can really engage people for a long period of time. And I've taken out four, five, even six targets before I needed to reload. On the far right of the chart, you'll notice a little orange number with um, two up arrows next to it. That is the spread increase per shot. That used to be 0.3, now it's been changed to 0.22 to try and better balance out this weapon. This gun also benefits a lot from having a very quick reload, at least a short reload. You're probably never gonna hit the long reload with this gun once in a blue moon. So you're gonna be hitting the 2.2 seconds for reloading this weapon most of the time. And that's crazy, especially for a gun that has the most ammo capacity out there. So you shouldn't really be worrying about your reload state. In fact, it took me a while to try and practice and get good with this gun reminding myself that I really don't have to reload once every time I kill somebody or even kill two people. I can take down two people, three people. I've taken down four or five people before needing to hit that reload. So just hold off on your reloads if you plan on getting good with the Ace 53. Just keep reminding yourself, I don't yet need to reload. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you might remember a video a while back where I was talking about DMRs, the state of them, how they pretty much sucked, and that they needed to be upgraded. I made a few suggestions. I actually really liked the DMR balance from Battlefield 3, where they had 50 damage maximum. You'll notice here that we only have 45 damage maximum. This means that at no range will you ever get a one-shot kill with this gun. You can shoot somebody in the head, you can do 90 damage to them and in close quarters. That's not going to finish them off. Now, a two-shot kill is very possible, one headshot and a body shot, but if you don't get any headshots in close quarters, no matter how close you are to your opponent, it's going to take you three shots to take him down. Now, this might kind of sound familiar. Doesn't it take three shots to take somebody down at extreme long range? Yes, so assuming that you're not hitting any headshots with this weapon, it's going to take you three shots to take down your opponent at any range. This is pretty much the only gun in the game where your time to kill doesn't change based on the range. You might be saying, well, what about a bolt action sniper rifle? No, a bolt action sniper rifle can one shot in a body shot from extreme close quarters. Most of them have 100 damage maximum. So in a pinch, you can hit fire or even just aim down sights and body shot somebody. You have to be very close, but at least the time to kill on that weapon kind of changes, assuming you're going for the body shot. With a DMR, you don't really get any benefit. So play style wise, you want to keep as much distance between yourself and your opponent, or rather not as much distance because you're going to get out damaged by bolt action sniper rifles at extreme range, but you kind of want a medium to long range engagement distance to get the most effect 
out of this weapon. Personally, I don't really understand this balancing scheme with DMRs. I think it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, if you're shooting at somebody who's already been damaged, then the DMRs definitely do get a benefit from uh, their damage, even their damage at range. So they're most effective when you're sort of playing a support role. You're behind your teammates. You're not the one taking the direct fire. You're not engaging full health enemies. You're sort of helping to dish out the damage in bigger firefights and not taking the brunt of the force. That's the way I felt like I had to play with DMRs because if you are getting into a one-on-one -on -one firefight, most guns are gonna out damage you at most ranges. These are very effective at longer ranges but you just don't want to be taking that fire you're an excellent secondary damage dealer now when we read about the upcoming DMR tweaks and I heard that there was going to be a slightly different damage model between different guns and that is where the SKS and QBU 88 have slightly lower damage than these weapons but there's still three shot kills I was hoping in the back of my mind that they might give some of the DMRs a 50 damage maximum which is the way they were in Battlefield 3 and in my opinion definitely not an overpowered weapon. When I made my first video criticizing the damage models of DMRs, I was surprised to find out how many people loathed DMRs from Battlefield 3. And I found that most surprising because I never found them to be a challenge to go up against. Occasionally you get killed by them, but I always felt way more effective with an assault rifle um, over a DMR in just about any single situation in Battlefield 3. So when people were like, oh no way, DMRs were the most overpowered thing ever, I couldn't really believe it, and part of me thinks it's because people just hate the sound of the bullet as it's whizzing past you. Unfortunately, for Battlefield's sake, the devs have given the bullet sound, essentially the sniper rifle shot bullet sound, as it, whiz it, as it whizzes past your head so you hear the loud crack of the bullet. And this isn't so bad when you're being shot at with a bolt action, because you only hear it once, then the guy's got a rechamber around, take another shot. DMR you can spam fire so you hear the sound all the time and I think it has sort of a, an effect of people thinking that they're just getting way over suppressed by these like super powerful weapons and then when they get killed by it um, it just has this sort of suppressing effect both mentally and like in game like versus the actual suppression mechanics but balance wise I think giving this gun 50 damage maximum or at least some of the other DMRs, some of the DMRs with smaller magazines would make a lot of sense because then you would have the option to one shot kill somebody with a headshot in close quarters. Lots of weapons get benefits from close range encounters, DMRs for some weird reason don't, and I think giving them 50 damage maximum at something like 5 meters or 10 meters or closer would give them that opportunity to one shot headshot or two shot body shot in extreme close range giving them something to do in a pinch because right now if somebody comes around a corner with any assault rifle you are going to lose that fight as long as they're on their game. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much about DMR balance. I will be getting into the other DMRs, talking about the differences and the benefits of them uh, for which situations they're good for. Um, they're not just for the recon class, though. That's the big difference between Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3. You can use these with any class. I find them pretty fun to run with engineers on bigger open maps where you do end up seeing people at longer ranges. Now the Ace 53 has a very large ammo capacity. This is going to make it good for dealing with multiple infantry targets, spamming infantry targets. Its aiming down sight accuracy isn't quite the best. So if you're going to go for a map that's extreme long ranges, I would say pick a different DMR. But if you're going for a map where you're expecting to see a lot of infantry and perhaps not all of them are going to be ex at extreme long ranges, then the Ace 53 definitely fits the bill. It's a battle rifle through and through and without a doubt one of the better DMRs in in the game along with the SKS and in my opinion I think the QBU 88 is going to be a very interesting option as it offers some of the best sustained fire accuracy out of any of the weapons. So that wraps it up for this episode of Sniper Sunday. Let me know in the comments which DMR you would like me to focus on for the next episode. I'll focus a little bit less on the my balancing ideas for the weapons that time around and a little bit more on the tactics involved with the specific DMRs I'm talking about. As always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.